2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the first stop of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today's coverage of the FedEx St Jude Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elby alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hi Luke and Rich, looking forward to following these two players again as they reignite their rivalry. I have a feeling we'll be in for some more exciting golf as these two battle it out. Who delivers when it matters most? That's the joy of any rivalry. And this is a good one to win. That is right down the sprinkler line. The approach into the first at TPC Southwind Rich played uphill to a challenging green. Back up the hill ever so slightly when the pin is on the back portion of the green. It's hard to get it close, but anywhere on the front part of the green, you can get it close and make birdie. Come on, get down. Well, that's a lovely approach and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the first. Tracking, getting off to a great start at this event. And that should calm whatever nerves this player has. Nice opening hole. The second at TPC Southwind presents the first real booty chance. Just a short par four playing 401 yards. Oh, that was pure. Yeah, good safe shot, this one. That should find the surface. That was a beauty. That would be back-to-back -back birdies for this player. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Hey guys, we are checking in with Ricky Fowler as he gets set for his next shot here on the... Terrific shot. Who could have thought you'd hold it? Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. All right, guys. This for two birdies in a row. Not a bad line, this. Some momentum being built now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Currently two under for the day. The third hole at TPC Southwinds, a strong par five measuring over 550 yards from the back tees. A bit of water comes into play here on the second shot, so be mindful of where you leave your approach.
Well, that's a handy shot. The third hole at TPC Southwind, Rich, the first of the par fives on the golf course. A lot of water in play. You need to be brave if you're going for this in two. More golf balls hit into the water at TPC Southwind than any other golf course on tour. An excellent reason why you get a little careless. That water on the right-hand side is going to gobble up that second shot. Would be nice to make this putt. This is for Regal. This one's looking good. Well played. What an eagle. He finds himself in a share of 11. Gotta like it. Moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. The fourth hole here at TPC Southwind is the first par three on the course, and it measures just under 200 yards. Just avoid the penalty area to the left. And choosing the eight iron here. That's inside the house of opportunity. And now intrepid on course reporter, John standing by. Hey guys, we are checking in with Ricky Fowler as he gets set for his next shot here on the fifth. And back to the play, shall we? And this putt will take them to five under. This one has eyes for the hole. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The fifth at TPC Southwind is a long par four measuring 485 yards. It requires a good strong drive to avoid the bunker on the left and then an accurate approach into this green. That drive heading straight towards the cut stuff. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Setting up here from about 195 yards. Looks to be going with the six iron. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. This player is making a statement with that approach shot. I think this rivalry with Ricky Fowler is really inspiring him to fire at those flags. Yep, tracking nicely. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. That hole looks double the size for this player this week. Let's start to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Hey, guys, we are checking in with Ricky Fowler as he gets set for his next shot here on the sixth. And how did that shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The strategy at the sixth here at TPC Southwind on this par four, measuring just under 450 yards from the tips, is to position your drive from the tee to give a clear shot into this green. Well played, mate. I shot that. That should find the surface. Oh, what a shot! Mark it down as an eagle. 
And that will move him up the leaderboard as well. Well, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. Perfect distance, perfectly judged, and look at that, straight in the hole. Just one off the lead after that hole. The seventh at TPC Southwind is a strong par four measuring 482 yards from the back tee. A big clump of trees on the left and the one on the right is to be avoided off the tee. Also, a good angle to attack this green is from the left half of this fairway with a huge greenside tree that also affects any poor approaches. Not bad. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? He's got... Mm, I'd say a solid 145 here. This is one of those great ball striking displays. Fairways and greens, a pleasure to watch. I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation, spot on all day, awesome. Oh, Rich, how good is that? That's incredible. What an amazing play out of the greenside bunker. Up and in the hole. Nicely done. This one's for Birdie. It's on a good line. Super shot, that. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. The eighth hole at TPC Southwind is a really nice short par three measuring just 164 yards. This green has been recently contoured, so accuracy or distance control off the tee is paramount. That's tidy. OK, Henny, what's he looking at with this part? This is downhill. Can't be too bold. Ouch, that hurts. Just three feet to the cup. And well hold. Let's move on. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. The finishing hole on the front nine here at TPC Southwind plays downhill towards a dog leg right. There's a big body of water, the short front left of this green, so make sure you've got enough club to reach the surface. That dog will hunt. And what are we looking at here, Henny? I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. Oh, look at this, right down the throat. That one just slides by. And they'll tap this in for birdie. John, you're down there. What's happening? Hey, guys, we are checking in with Ricky Fowler as he gets set for his next shot here on the 10th. Shame it didn't drop. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Time now to make the turn for home, Rich, and uh, this is an exciting part of the championship. What are your thoughts on this performance? Well, after nine, so far, so good. It's great to see these two players stepping up, getting the best out of the games. It'll be interesting to see exactly who's going to be ahead at the end of the tournament.
Nicely done. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker is currently tied for the lead. That should find the surface. Oh, how good was that? Oh, you love to see those shots land. What a play. Johnny Mack, what's the news? Hey, guys, we are checking in with Ricky Fowler as he gets set for his next shot here on the 11th. Oh, well played. Tough bunker shot. No bother whatsoever for this player. They find the bottom of the cup. The par 3 11th at TPC Southwind measures just 162 yards, but looks can be deceiving here. While it looks pretty, it can bite you. Make sure you've got enough club here on approach. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Well, this one's right at the pin. Oh, that's a great shot and a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. This is their look at birdie. And that's eight birdies today. He finds himself in a share of the lead. The par 4 12th is only a short one measuring 406 yards from the tips. But you need to be very accurate off the tee. Avoid that huge water hazard to the right, and that'll give you the best angle into this green. Any drive that's pushed left will make it a difficult approach, and be wary. There's water over the back of this green, which you can't see. Flanks it off the stick. Butting for birdie. John, what's going on out there? Hey, guys, we are checking in with Ricky Fowler as he gets set for his next shot here on the 13th. What a shot. Almost went in the bucket. It's time to check on the leaderboard. The 13th the TPC Southwind is a strong par four that plays uphill and a slight dog leg to the right. It requires a big drive up the right half and then a very accurate approach. There's a heavily bunkered green there, so make sure you hit your approach in the right distance. Nicely done. This shot is about 140 yards out. He's currently tied for the lead. This would be a great up and down. Oh, I thought that one was going in. That's a well played chip shot there. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Oh, wonderful effort, confirms the par. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Hey, guys, we are checking in with Ricky Fowler as he gets set for his next shot here on the 14th. Oh, that's clutch. What a way to save your par. Oh, a messy little lie in the bunker, but that is not a problem for this player. Yes, in the hole. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The 14th at TPC Southwind is one of their signature holes. The par three that plays downhill considerably long, around 240 yards, is hit over a big body of water to the right. Fortune favours the brave here. If you need a birdie, go flag hunting. Otherwise, lay up to around 20 feet left. <laughs> Terrific shot and a chance for birdie coming up here at the 14th. Gotta like their chances from there. And this putt 
is to move into a share for the lead. Sitting at minus 14 now for the round. Accuracy is required at the par 4 15th, just 395 yards off the tee. Players like to lay back to give them their right number into this green. And there's a little creek that meanders through the centre of the fairway here and up to the right side of the green. So make sure your approach is accurate. That's a good looking shot there. This one's got eyes for the flag stick. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Running up the birdie putt here. John, do you have any info down there? Hey, guys, we are checking in with Ricky Fowler as he gets set for his next shot here on the 16th. Oh, that's a beauty. Great shot from the bunker. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. The 16th at TPC Southwind is the last genuine birdie hole on the course. It's a par 5 measuring just 530 yards, but there's a lot required on the tee shot that's played uphill to a ridge. If you can get it up over the rise, a good chance for reaching the green here in two to set up a birdie and even perhaps eagle. But be wary of this green. There's a big bunker short left, and if you find it, it's not an easy up and down. Or maybe even a par can be hard. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine playing from around 190 yards out. He shares the lead. Oh, I like that strike. This one's heading well towards the green. Oh, what a shot. You'll take that. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. This putt's about four feet from the hole. They'll be soaring high if this goes in. This one for Eagle. Oh, terrific. What an effort. Still in the lead now after that hole. The penultimate hole at TPC Southwind is a very strong par four, measuring 490 yards off the back tees. There is a little creek that runs through the centre of the fairway here, but that only catches the biggest of drives. There's two big trees either side that you want to position yourself in the middle of, so then you can hit a clean shot to the green. Two strong shots required to get onto the surface. And even once you're on the green, par isn't assured. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Setting up here from about 145 yards. Oh, almost went in. That was special. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. Just building upon his advantage, he keeps making the important plays. Let's head over to the 18th hole, shall we? It's Ricky Fowler's turn now. That's a pretty handy shot. Oh, my. Hard to believe you could be that accurate from so far away. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is up by three shots. Well, the finishing hole at TPC Southwind is an absolute beauty. There's been some heroic moments like hole-out eagles, and there's been triple bogeys that have cost championships. Your job is to get the ball safely into the fairway here. And if you're not a long driver, don't take on the corner. But if you can, it'll leave you just a short iron in, a chance to seal a victory with a birdie. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Henny, what's the player facing here? Yeah, he's got a round 125 here. Well, this one's going right at the flag. 
Yeah, a quality shot from him. He'll be pleased. Looking for back-to-back -back birdies here, Luke. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? This is a 12-footer here. Their short game has been very impressive. They've been really sharp today. Get excited. This could go in. And with that, this round comes to a close.